If you are a rich or powerful person as part of a corporation or a political machine, a prime minister or president, the mainstream media will give you a lot of platform. But if you're a small business owner or an individual, a smelly pleb like us, then you want to get all your voices being heard. The media will not really care about giving you that platform. A perfect example is what's going on across the world, especially in Europe when it comes to farmers fighting back against globalism. Nothing in the mainstream media. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. The second news story of the day. Uh, the last few days we've had a lot of updates when it comes to, uh, again, the updates from the Netherlands and other parts of Europe. But this time is about Spain. So, the farmers. There's a big issue, if, in case you haven't followed the, most of the detailed news uh, right now. In the name, initially over the last few years basically, in the name of many things. One was about public safety and, and then public health and then the environment, climate. And these days, national security, you know, bad Putin, all that, all that stuff, right? In the name of all this, the state and the statists and big government people have been using these as an excuse to completely restrict us from what we want to do in our own lives. Now it goes further, it's not just about, oh, it's so inconvenient that you're gonna force me to wear a face nappy on the, on the train. It goes beyond that, because one is just your personal stuff. Secondly, when it comes to the, f the farmers, for example, because they're fighting against a global agenda, globalist agenda, when it comes to uh, the ideas coming from the World Economic Forum that, you know, th this, social slash business club uh, of the elite uh, coming up with all these ideas and suggestions. And of course, because a lot of the presidents and prime ministers are already in favor of them because they go and hang out together, then they are being implemented. Now, 100 million farmers, this is one of the ideas uh, that to essentially force uh, various countries uh, to do net zero by 2030, uh, they have to change everything instantly. Not just your lifestyle, what you're going to drink, what you're going to eat, but also how you produce them. So all this in the name of climate, then they go beyond and say, well, in that case, we're going to have to take your land. So private property is gone. It's out of the window. No respect for private property or businesses. And this is why right now in Spain, this is happening. Peaceful and absolutely civilized. Yet the same thing happened in Canada with the truckers and the Justin Trudeau lost his mind. Now my job here on this channel is very clear. I've got my leanings, I've got my biases, but I'm always clear that I, I give you the report, I add my opinion, then I actually allow you guys to shape your own views. But in reality, the biggest thing that we do is to give platform. Even if certain things I semi-agree or disagree, I still would give platform because the mainstream media are not doing their job. That's why we have to talk about what's going on in Spain with the farmers. That's why we talked about the Netherlands and the farmers, the Dutch farmers over there as well, and the solidarity that they got from various countries around the world. We have to talk about this because otherwise, everything will be shut down in the age of anti-free speech, anti-free press, and anti-freedom expression, generally speaking. So we're gonna come back in half an hour. We're gonna to talk to you guys about another globalist nonsensical entity that is the European Union. I've got some updates on that issue. So definitely subscribe to the channel and come back in about half an hour. I'm my TC and we are the media.